Dental health is something, while it may not be visible on the surface, as you can imagine, if there, the, the, it's dental disease is quite sore, it's quite painful, and this, of course, then will have a knock-on effect in performance. So yes, it is very, a very important thing that may not necessarily um, jump out at you. It's not like a lameness, it's not like a broken uh, leg, it's not like uh, a visible, you know, an overly visible injury. It's not something that, that jumps out at you, but it's still very important nonetheless. As part of Dental Health Awareness Month, uh, you can expect to see staff from Greyhound Racing Ireland at your local Greyhound Racing Track and promoting good dental health in, in Greyhounds. Um, there will be educational pieces launched on our website and all our media pages. Um, there are going to be awareness, awareness campaigns launched and um, also uh, at the individual roadshow or the, the roadshow nights um, there will be uh, toothbrushes and other pieces like that for, for, for assisting you in getting off to a good start in maintaining good dental health in your greyhounds. There are, I suppose, number, a number of strands to the Dental Health Awareness Month, I suppose, and they are from, um, I suppose, to emphasise the importance of maintaining good dental health in racing greyhounds right the way through, all the way through from puppyhood, all the way through to retired greyhounds. Uh, and this um, programme has been, it has been taken or been participated in by both Greyhound Racing Ireland and also the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust from that point of view. It is, as you can imagine, very, very important that they run in peak physical condition and this is one of the aspects in which you know, can, be, we, can be improved. Dental disease can be and is quite painful. So as you can imagine, if you've got an athlete and they're running and their mouth is quite sore, performance is not going to be where you want it to be. And additionally, it's a good habit to, to develop that, again, similarly to, to with kids, we teach kids to brush their teeth from a very, very early age. Similarly with greyhounds, it's a good habit to get them into to having good dental health from the point of view of lifelong health and also from the point of view of having good teeth when these dogs are um, going to their forever home to be, to be retired. In relation to um, the, the scheme which is being launched in February 2022. Um, this scheme was born out of recognition and some of the feedback that has come back through the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust uh, in relation to, to dental disease and obviously a need to have it addressed. Um, so I suppose the decision was made, taken by the Board of Greyhound Racing Ireland. It was very, very important that we would um, give every, make every effort to try and assist uh, the preparation of, uh, in the preparation of these dogs to, to be replaced in their in their forever homes. Typically, it's mo there are vets all over the country who do this. It's not any particular panel of vets who do this on their own. Um, and I suppose, the, from a practical point of view, um, typically if the teeth aren't you know in very bad shape, this work can be done um, on at, on and around the same occasion when these dogs are being neutered. At, once the neutering has been finished, and provided the teeth are, are suitable or amenable to be to be done that way, it can be done. As part of the same operation. The access to the scheme is, is similar to the other schemes that are run by the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust. All of the existing vets who currently participate in the rehoming programme with Greyhound Racing Ireland, they will all have been um, made aware of the, the addition of this dental assistance scheme um, through a notification from, from the IRGT. Um, that, so they will be aware of this, this programme and its inception from February 2022, uh, so they will, be, they will be familiar with it. As you can imagine, good dental health um, is a good habit and it, it really needs to be developed from a very, very early age. It will take a little bit of time with each of the dogs, approximately three weeks to a month, to get them into the habit of having this work done because as you can imagine, just get, introducing them to a toothbrush and expecting them to be able to brush their teeth overnight, that's not going to uh, be very, very likely or indeed a, a very strong runner. But over time, getting these dogs used to having their, their teeth brushed, it is a lifelong habit that we feel in, is very, very important and needs to be nurtured from, from as early as possible all the way through from racing greyhounds, retired greyhounds at every stage of life. So for any, any additional information, you can visit the Greyhound Racing Ireland website uh, or alternatively the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust website.